Welcome to QSR Nation, your weekly dose of food service marketing tips and business strategies for success. Here's your hosts, Josh Anderson, Beth Oots, and Anthony Pierce from the PFS Brands National Headquarters. Hey everybody, welcome back to QSR Nation. As always, we have Josh, Beth, and Tony here from the PFS Brands National Headquarters in Holt Summit, Missouri to talk about food service marketing and business strategies for success. Today, it's our honor to have the CEO and founder of PFS Brands, Sean Burcham, on with us. Welcome, Sean. Hey, glad to be here. I'm not sure what episode this is, but I'm glad I finally got invited. So. <laughs> yeah, we were just waiting. Out. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, first of all, in 2018, we'll be celebrating 20 years of business, so congrats on that. Um, you want to tell us a little bit how you kind of got started and just a little bit about the PFS brand's journey? Sure. We started in uh, 1998. So I started uh, in the food business with Mid-America Dairyman, actually started as an intern with them and, and went on to work in, in uh, packaged and processed cheese sales uh, across the country. So kind of got in the food business and got stuck like everybody else in the food business. So didn't, didn't really know anything. Went to work for a local Chester Fried distributor, of course, one of our competitors now. Uh, and uh, about uh, three years into that, just got an opportunity with uh, BKI, who's now a, a large equipment uh, supplier for us. Uh, got an opportunity to gain an exclusive territory with them and decided to develop uh, Champ's Chicken at that time. So most people don't know, we actually started as a coffee company, though. Hmm. So wh while I was working uh, and managing Western Missouri and Kansas for that uh, distributor, actually started uh, an after hours and weekend uh, coffee business. So it, we would go into restaurants and have a push button cappuccino machine that counted the drinks. And uh, so uh, luckily for us and everybody sitting here, we got out of the coffee business <laughs> and found the chicken business. Yeah. So. We're proud to be chicken people. That's right. That's right. I mean, so in, you mentioned that you, know, you guys got started there. Um, um, I know that, you know, when people research the story of, uh, how you and Julia got the company going and everything. I mean, from you know humble beginnings and you know it was out of your garage basically and home when you guys first kind of got started with like the coffee business and everything there, to now a fourth building on an entire corporate campus. I mean that's that's a huge growth uh, piece for this company under your leadership. Yeah, it's it's been a it's been a great ride for almost 20 years now. But we we did start out of our garage, out of our home in Willard is is where we actually started. So uh, Willard is down by by Springfield, Missouri. So the company actually started there in '98 when we started the coffee business, and even as uh, we got into the chicken business in uh, basically April of '99. So uh, we, we were distributing out of the garage there, moved to some storage <laughs> units uh, into, into the back of a, a supermarket uh, as a distribution space. So it's kind of evolved from there until we got our first building on this campus. Uh, I believe that was in late 2000. Uh, and I tell you, that's another thing. I mean, just to see the growth, I mean, you know, year over year, not just in terms of um, sales growth that, you know, this company has experienced, but also um, in people growth. I mean, you guys have been able to um, really embody, you know, the company core purpose of make, helping people become successful and working in life and getting that out there in, you know, through 20 years of, you know, um, just living that out. Um, how does it make you feel when you look back from the storage, you know, <laughs> units and the, the, the supermarket that you just referenced, you know, work on the back to when you, when you drive up on the campus in the morning and you just see all these cars and all these people and everything you guys have been able to accomplish in the last 20 years. Well, it, it always makes you feel good. Most most people, unless you're, you've been an entrepreneur, you don't realize how forward looking you are. So we don't look back that often. So it's, uh, it's kind of difficult sometimes to have these conversations because we are so forward looking. But it, it's definitely uh, great to look back on it and as, as I tell everybody all the time, it's, it's about the people and the people have built the company. It hasn't been, it hasn't been me, it hasn't been uh, Julie, but ultimately it's just everybody that has, uh, has, has made the company work. Uh, it's, it's all about finding the right people and, and giving them the opportunity to do what they do best. For sure. Um, I know we have, we like to say that we have a food service solution for any situation from Champ Chicken to Cooper's Express to private, to private label. Um, can you tell us a little more about that and how we can really help any prospective retail out there looking for really any food service opportunity? Yeah, I think it's a very unique niche for us because our our sales process, if you will, is more of an interview process and we're really trying to find the right path for that retailer, uh, whatever best fits their 
their operation uh, right right now and historically that's been in the fried chicken space uh, we support that with a lot of different side items and, and different products beyond beyond fried chicken but certainly that's our core uh, our chicken tenders have always been a leading item and now our new sandwich we think is there but uh, at the end of the day uh, champs chicken is a franchise and cooper's express is a license agreement and uh, there's a lot of people that just like to fly their own banner and uh, yep. that that's that, that that fits their model and uh, we found that as a, as a great niche for our company, and, and uh, with all of our support, it, it really provides a path for everybody. Well, on top of that, we've outfitted thousands of commercial kitchens as well with our equipment. To it, you know, and it, you mentioned you know, the forward thinking, you know, beyond, you know, Champs and, you know, Coopers and the private label, uh, the expansion with PFS Blends. You know, and again, you know, having that, you know, opportunity out there to work with, you know, different, you know, wholesalers and pieces, for, you know, to develop the different breading for them. And then uh, recently uh, we had uh, Daryl Hale in here and uh, he announced our new uh, Kitdell uh, commercial equipment line. And so what, what, what new things do we have in the store for folks for 2018? Well, for 2018, certainly the Kitdell equipment brand is, is coming on. We've, uh, we've got a lot of different line items that we're, we're rolling out with that Kit Dell name, so, so that's important. Of course, PFS Blends is picking up steam, and that vertical integration strategy has been good for us. Ultimately, our, our goal with all of these strategies is to continue to drive costs down for our retailers. So uh, we're, we're continuing to do that. I think one of the most exciting things we've got rolling out for 2018 is, is a new Mexican program. Uh, Hot, uh, hot off the presses here, but uh, we've, we've spent a, about 12 months developing this Mexican concept that is, is uh, going to be a franchise concept and going to be designed for supermarkets and convenience stores. Uh, but the, the name of the brand is going to be Blue Taco. And uh, again, just a lot of work that went into the taco and the burrito development, uh, the items that we're going to roll out. And uh, we've really tried to simplify the menu and, and make it a great fit for supermarket operators as well as convenience store operators. Awesome. And when can we expect this to officially roll out then? We're, we are going to be rolling this out in the first quarter of 2018. Awesome. So we, yeah, that's great news. Yeah, we have some uh, wholesalers already committed to slot the products, and we've already got retailer interest. And we feel uh, our, our Champs Chicken franchisees out there and our Cooper's Express franchisees, as well as some of our private label customers, uh, could really show an interest in this product line. So you're going to basically get the you know the fanatical service we offer here at PFS Brands with a simplified program and quality products, basically. Yeah, the the service definitely is a big part of making any food service program work. We're we're in a fortunate position uh, to to have a lot of business advisors out in the field. Uh, they're experts at what they do, but then all the back end support that we do internally here is is certainly going to be critical to making this program successful. Well, I know uh, we got to sample. Um, some of the blue taco items the other day, and uh, there were a lot of really happy folks leaving uh, the demo kitchen. I mean, we're always happy when we get free food, <laughs> but um, I mean, it was I mean really really great quality, high end. Um, you know, I mean, the, my my favorite of the, the three different proteins that we got to sample was the barbacoa, which is a unique you know piece there. And you know, having some of those things out there to create another unique offering, and you know, for these retailers is going to be positioned to not only give them something as more of a, kind of a destination a type of a, a product to have for people that's going to be very unique for, hopefully for them, but at the same time, um, looks like, I mean, it's going to be pretty sh decent margins for them as well, so to help them with their, you know, adding more profit to their business and, and really growing that side of things. Yeah, everything we do, we've certainly got the retailer profitability in mind. Uh, but to go along with what you said earlier, our core purpose is to help others become more successful in work and in life, and, and that, that transcends over to our retailers. Uh, of course, we can't do what we do without our retail customers out there, and, and they, have, uh, they have ultimately helped us build this company as well. Uh, but the, the, the Blue Taco brand will be able to be co-branded very well with, with any of our programs, but it also can be a standalone um, uh, in in store operation as well, uh, we feel the quality is is even there to to literally go out and do a standalone Mexican concept. So that's, awesome. that's amazing. Uh, that, that's, yeah. that's what we've des designed the the program around. I, I think those those folks that know the quality of the products that we put out now, I uh, wouldn't expect anything less with this Mexican program. Well, I know you mentioned you know it's been a year or so in development. Um, I know there's been. A team's been dedicated, a lot of it kind of behind closed doors because we want to make sure that they got it right. And um, 
I, it's it's been interesting to, um, like I said, to see that when they unveiled the the kind of the concept the other day in the, the demo kitchen, and to, to see the whole embodiment from the apparel to you know the the actual you know food and to see all that together. So uh, I know that this is I think a huge announcement and very very excited to see uh, what Blue Taco holds for uh, PFS brands and our retailers in 2018. Awesome. Yeah, I know the team's really excited about it, and uh, we're, we're excited about the announcement. Uh, cer- certainly having 19-plus uh, years, uh, coming up on 20 mm-hmm. years here in, in the chicken business and in the food business, we've, we've taken all that expertise and tried to uh, really put a brand together that, that we feel will serve a unique niche in this market. So, Cool. You guys got any other questions, Ed? Just want to say congratulations again on 20 years, and we appreciate your vision on how this company is going to go and what you've done in the past. So we appreciate it. Oh, we thank you guys. Uh, this this podcast uh, been neat to listen to, so appreciate what you guys are doing with the podcast as well. Thanks. Sorry, we want to make sorry, sure. Sorry, yeah. took 50 episodes. We want to make sure we perfected this before we got you in here. Okay, maybe I could do the 100s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can get that in. We'll, that one. we'll make this a tradition. <laughs> so definitely uh, be on the lookout for Blue Taco coming the first quarter of 2000. 18. And if you guys have any questions about Blue Taco or any of our other programs, please reach out to us at mdf at pfsbrands.com. And once again, we all want to thank Sean for being here today. And for Josh, Beth, and Tony, we'll talk to you next week. Stop by next week for another QSR Nation episode or visit pfsbrands.com.